Hello guys, welcome once again. In the video number 25, I have shown you how to create and show date and current time on your form. But in that video, I have shown how to show a static time so it's not moving. But sometimes we want our time to be moving as a clock and we want to show it dynamically. So in this video I will show you how to show or move this time dynamically as a watch. So let's get started. First of all go, go into your form and go to the toolbar here this one and take a timer from here and drag and drop into your form and if you see this timer doesn't go into your form but it goes at this bottom strip so it means your timer is there for use okay and now we will go to the source code of our program or form and if you remember in the video number 25 how I have shown the clock so I have used these two line to show the current date and time so I will run through them once again I have taken a date time variable which is this date time and what I am passing in that variable is the current date and time that's why it's date time now and then I am transferring that current date and time into a string and then to a label so if you don't remember this code just copy this code and this is the label you want have to take into a, your form so these two lines I have written in the video number 25 but right now we just cut these lines so right click and cut these two lines and just go to your form once again and just select this timer and double click it and this will lead us to the timer event of our form and if you can see when you just select it and when you go to the properties of this timer you can see the interval is set 100 that means it's one second so every hundred interval is one second you can increase it also and decrease it also so we won't want to move our clock every one second that's why it's okay by default for us but if you can you can move this also or change this also so once again go to the timer double click it once again and what we have cut from our these two lines just place it here okay same code same two lines I'm pasting here now once again I will go to my form and I'm just copying my name of the timer which is timer1 once again go to the code and go at the top from where you have cut your two lines of code for timer here so come here if you don't know where to go just find this initialize component function 
and in this function the in these two brackets we need to write so here write timer and then arrow pointer and write start and bracket and bracket closed so write this wherever your initialize component is there and now when we run our program once again and when we see our clock you see it's moving right so in this way you can show the date and time dynamically this will look good on your form and you can also use it according to your use so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now